Hello everyone, my name is Dawn. Welcome to Van Itty Bitty. So I'm just going to run down to Home Depot. I'm going to get a hole saw and a mandrel for my drill so I can cut a hole in the dog bowl that I'm going to use as a sink. Um, I've never cut into a metal bowl before. It's stainless steel. It's a big water bowl. I'd grab it. but um, So I don't know. We'll see if I can do that. Uh, and I'm going to buy a sink drain and some plumber's putty and some L brackets uh, so I can put that shelf on. I've got my water systems uh, faucet and stuff all ordered. Should be here tomorrow or at least part of it. Uh, but there's been a little hiccup. Um, my van sent me a text message again. <laughs> text me more than my friends do. Um, saying that it's going into deep sleep and if you watch my uh, video that I went to the van gathering when I got my car it had sent me a text saying it was in deep sleep and to take it for a long drive so I did that but it did it to me yesterday too and I had just taken it the day before to Tampa to test drive the Nissan NV2500 uh, so I called up Ford and they said that's nothing to worry about. It didn't tell me to take it for a drive this time. He said whenever the car is shut off and you're away from it for more than 45 minutes, it goes into a deep sleep. But it that's only the second time it sent me that message. So that's a little sus, if you ask me. But whatever. I'm not going to worry about it then. I guess until it strands me. I have my jump starter uh, thingy with me. Uh, so, I guess I'm not going to worry about it, but in looking for their phone number on their website, I saw that they have a Transit 250 medium roof on their lot. Two of them, actually. I know I said I'd never buy another Ford, um, but I can't help it if they make the ones that have everything I need. <laughs> So this has a medium roof. The thing about the NV2500, it was quite intimidating because it went on forever. It was so tall. It towered over me. And, you know, once you're in there driving it, it's fine. Um, but, because you can't tell how tall it is. But that means the wind is going to knock you around a lot more, too. I only need a medium roof to stand up. Unfortunately... That means Ford Transit, because it's the only one that makes a medium roof. So, I figured, why not? I'm going to go test drive one. I'm going to go look at it. I'm shocked that Ford has some Transit 250s in their fleet vehicles. But I'm going to go look at it. And guys, I wouldn't be surprised if I drive home in that today. Because if that NV2500 hadn't been damaged, I think I really would have been wrestling with it. It's hard to let go. It's hard to let go. All right. I'm an idiot. We're going now. Whoever said that I can lower this, it's already lowered all the way. I guess I'm just short. I'm not that short. I'm 5'5". Five five. So why is this choking me all the time? But no, it's down as low as it goes. So. I've got several things done in the van here. Uh, that I will be showing you. There's a couple more little things I want to do and I think before I do anything else I need to look at that other van. Today I'm going to test drive the Nissan NV2500. For those of you who don't know I just bought my 2021 Ford Transit Connect about four months ago. It's not working out. So I'm considering trading it in now that full-size high-top vans are starting to show up on the market again. Test drive the Nissan and see how I like driving a full-size high-top van. Yeah, that van had just too much damage to it. Um, I could have lived with a little bit of it, but when I saw that massive damage on top of the door, it was... That NV2500 seemed really big. I mean, really big. Tall. And when you're standing next to it and looking up at the... Oh 
oh Jesus, it's tall. I feel a lot better that I know I can drive one and be comfortable driving it. So I'm still proceeding ahead with the van for those of you who don't know. I'm doing a no build build because I do plan on trading this van in at some point. I don't want it to cause any permanent damage. Uh, I don't want to decrease the value. I did just put in a max air fan and a window and shore power, but I don't know if that will increase or decrease the value. I didn't do them. I had them professionally installed. Personally, I have made no permanent changes to the van. Those things were necessary for ventilation. So I've been doing some little things with the van I said I was going to do. I put cabinet knobs on. Um, that was just a little thing, an easy thing. But it had to be done because the doors were sliding all around while I was driving. I finally made the skirt for the ridiculous toilet contraption. If you haven't seen that video yet, perhaps give that a little look. <laughs> so you know what I'm talking about. I got rid of that big roll of wire for the Max Air Fan. I had specifically asked for a long wire because I wasn't sure where my power source is going to end up. So I tried yet a third layout because I'm really trying to make it work and I'm really trying to fit the Liberty Trike in. And so I tried it out this way. I don't really like the kitchen cabinet there. I won't be able to cook on it, obviously. Don't think I'm going to be doing a whole lot of cooking in the van anyway. Um, but the Liberty Trike fits right in, fully assembled. And then I tried breaking it in two to see if it was as difficult as I remember, and it was not. And it gave me a lot more space broken in two I can reach everything and it doesn't feel cramped but when it's fully assembled it's easy to load in my van because all I have to do is lift up the front tire and set it in and then push the back in okay here's yet another one of my ridiculous contraptions I don't know what these are obviously there's some kind of bracket but what I need to do is I need some kind of bracket to go here, but I need to end on it. To, I need to kind of hook over the bed these little L brackets. And instead of having this there, I use this mechanism to put a little L bracket on the end instead. So this little piece is what I am putting on the side, hanging from the side of the bed, that I will be attaching an arm to for the chair for at night when I'm sleeping to prop a pillow against so I have something to lean my knee on, which is how I sleep. So as you can see, this is perfect, perfect for my knee. And even if I put a pillow in between two, that would be good, but it's flexible. Pipe insulation has really become my friend. I think they're my next best friend next to cable ties. We have pipe insulation hiding the crossboard here. We have pipe insulation hiding the fact that we don't have a frame until we figure out how to make it look like there is a frame. 
And now we have pipe insulation on the arm of the bed. <laughs> That's awesome. So to remove ridiculous bed contraption, <laughs> lift up the bed, this pulls right out. Guys, I'm just like so exhausted already. I'm hot, I'm sweaty, I'm exhausted. And I haven't gone to the Ford yet. All right, I'm gonna suck it up and I'm gonna go. These are really tall too. But, but started to build, I put shore power on it and a window in there so for ventilation and max air fan. It's just too small. So much more room. Okay, you guys, I'm beat. <laughs> I did not test drive the Ford right now, the Transit 250, because I'm actually not feeling good, and it's making me like really tired and queasy, sick to my stomach. I feel like I can't focus, and I don't want to drive a big van, especially one that doesn't belong to me. Um, you know so but it hasn't been serviced yet anyway it was in pretty bad shape uh, it was dirty <laughs> it was really dirty there's stuff they have to do they have to really clean it up I figure if I can drive the 2500 I can drive the transit I mean I didn't fall in love with it I didn't drive it though and it was really dirty so it's probably why I didn't fall in love with it and it still seems so tall for a mid-roof Oh my God, I mean, I've, I've thought it'd be a lot shorter. I thought I'd barely be able to stand up in there and it's still six feet standing room, I think, in the mid-roof. What? It's like, oh my gosh, it's so big. Is it because I'm used to driving this itty bitty van? All right, well, I had grand plans of going home after this and making my sink, getting it all ready for the rest of the stuff that's coming tomorrow so I can do the water station. But I'll tell you what, I'm pretty beat. I got about an hour drive home. Then I gotta worry about dinner, making dinner for the squatters in my house. <laughs> all right, they're family. I call them squatters because they won't move out. <laughs> all right, thanks for coming with me to Furman Ford. Oh, Ford, I hate you! Making me buy another one. Because I'll tell you what, that mid-roof on the transit was pretty darn high. It's like, and I could have sworn somebody has a mid-roof that I can barely fit in. So that's how I'm gonna look at the ProMaster and see if it's that one. That's the one I want, whatever that one is. I'm such an asshole.